Yeah. Youth runner here with uh, Nueva School standout Ryan Fitzpatrick, 14-13-7 in the first of two boys varsity races. We're at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational Golden Gate Park. Uh, very challenging course, uh, measuring uh, just slightly, uh, you know, slightly uh, below uh, 2.8 miles, uh, but obviously a phenomenal battle with you and Nate Griffin. Yay. Were you kind of waiting to see in that last, you know, 600 if he was going to move first, or you know, if, if you know, if, if you thought, you know, you want to uh, move first? Like, take, uh, take me through like how that last half mile unfolded in your mind. I definitely felt like at the start of the race, I definitely wanted to be in the front two or three for that uh, last half mile, and then try and push from there. Um, I felt like my middle of the race was really what hurt me and what made me lose that battle. I definitely felt like I could have pushed harder in the middle. Is, uh, is that just the aspect, Ryan, of the fact that it's September 7th and you know that, you know, that you'll be able to tighten all those things up you know, by the time uh, you guys get to CCS and State that it's just like, hey, you know what? Like, it's, you know, uh, I mean, obviously it's always good experience, but you know, uh, uh, you know, if you're you know, a CCS champion or an All-State guy, you know, and, you know, nobody's going you know, to remember seven, September 7th, but like, <laughs> is it good to be able to kind of you know, experiment and trial and error with some of those yeah. things early on? Yeah, it's definitely good to be able to kind of try new things, figure out what I need to be doing by the end of the season now, so I'm not making these mistakes, you know, come November. Was, I mean, when, uh, when you say that, the, uh, that that was kind of the, you know, the, the undoing or, you know, maybe a pivotal aspect of, you know, was it just maybe you know, you, too, amb too ambitious or, uh, or just not staying within yourself in that middle part? Uh, the middle part, I think I just didn't realize how slow the race was going out. I think I definitely could have pushed maybe 15, 20 seconds faster in that middle mile. I always love the fact uh, that you know the Nueva School program. You know both the guys and, uh, and the girls. You, uh, you know because especially with there's only being two varsity races, like the, you you get the opportunity to, you know, uh, to race against not just you, you know other programs from CCS, but obviously you know, uh, programs from significantly higher divisions. Like yeah. uh, you know, I mean, obviously Nate Grivinier from Las Lomas is a you know, Division three athlete in, in North Coast section. But I mean, obviously Coach Lopez and I always talk about like you know whether it's CCS, NCS, you know d uh, Division. You know, one, two, three, four, five. Like greatness is greatness. Like, uh, is that, how how good is it for you uh, to kind of be around some people that you're not always going to see in, in the, you know in in the invitationals and you know in the races closer to home in CCS. I think it's great to be able to um, race against some of the bigger schools, race against um, a lot of the um, athletes that I don't get to race against often. It's good to kind of see new faces and um, kind of be able to test myself against people I don't already know super well especially because there's no shortage of competition for you in your own backyard and in, in your section and especially in your division you know i don't think that ccs division five or division five as a whole has, has ever been has ever been greater like, definitely is, is that something that, that, that you appreciate like that, that you like that you relish that challenge and, and you know and, and really embrace that, uh, that opportunity because you because know, a lot of people you know you know, might you, you might run away from that and you're like you know look if, if it's if it's me surrounded by Menlo and Crystal Springs Uplands like that, then I know I'm doing something right. Yeah, I definitely, I love the level of competition we have in D5 right now. Um, I think it's great, especially for the, like, the future of the sport. I think D5 is going to have a lot of great runners coming out of it. Most definitely. And, uh, and the last thing, Ryan, like just, you know, from a, a chemistry and a camaraderie standpoint, I mean, obvi obviously this isn't, a, you know, a long trip for you guys, but, you know, but it is a, a meaningful team bonding opportunity uh, uh, nonetheless. Like, you know, how, like how, how, how valuable are, uh, are are days like this and weekends like this and invitationals like this for you in the group? Definitely very valuable. I think um, it's a great thing to be able to spend time with your team and know your team really well. And I think that's a great thing. That's the thing that the Nueva team do has done ever since I joined uh, is really build building that community. Most definitely. Uh, we're doing a great job of leading uh, that community uh, and obviously uh, really going after it. Uh, we know that uh, he's not going to be uh, settling for, uh, for any uh, mundane paces. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick wants to be able to get after it because you know that's what, that's what it's going to take at CCS Division 5 and State Division 5 come November. Uh, stay healthy. Congratulations. Thank you.